welcome to Dalston. Today I'm right in the heart of the village to show you number 14 The Green which is this period property that you can see behind me. Now this home is beautiful, it's got so much to offer you, there's so many little hidden gems here that if you know the village you probably don't know even exists. The plot is a great size, um, it's got the benefit of a garage, of a small boffy, it's even got a little studio and garden room to the rear so if you're looking for a retreat um, in the heart of a desirable village then this home might be the one for you, it's absolutely beautiful. Internally, the home is in need of renovation in part, so it could um, benefit from new bathrooms, new kitchens, but its footprint and its proportions and the room sizes are all fantastic. It's just an opportunity for you to put your own stamp on such a wonderful home in a great location. The home itself sits right in the heart of the village and overlooks the green here, but has the benefit of some beautiful gardens. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spin the camera around, show you the street scene first of all, and then I'm going to take it inside this fantastic property. Okay, so I've just brought you to the front to show you the street scene. You can see here we've got this beautiful building. We've got ample parking to the front and we've also got a garage building and a carport section. But just to show you the street scene, first of all, this road takes us up out of the village towards Durda to the M6. And in the opposite direction, we go up into the village where there's a whole host of local amenities. We've got shops, a supermarket, we've got doctor's surgeries, we've got two really good schools, primary and secondary, and we've got fantastic links into Carlisle. So this is a really desirable village location with everything you should want and a great base for somebody who lives and works locally. We also look overlook the green, as you can see there, which is a really lovely walking area, but you've got here such a beautiful plot. So it gives you so much privacy and I'm sure many people will not even know that the gardens to this home exist because it's so private and so hidden. So let's go inside the house first of all and we're going to go around the gardens at a later date. So not a later date, sorry, I'm just getting my words mixed up. We're going around the gardens in a few minutes. So as you'll see as we come inside, we've got um, a bit of a renovation project. The property's been lived in by the current owners for a number of years now, and um, it's in need of a little bit of TLC, but it's a great blank canvas for a new owner to put their own stamp on. This is the entrance hallway. And leading from here, we've got two reception rooms. So the first one is just to the left-hand side here, which is a good proportion room with dual windows looking out to the front and a nice feature fireplace there. But you'll see we've got some good, good size rooms here. We've got a storage cupboard, which is under the stairs. And then this is the main lounge. So this is a room that's separated in, sort of into two parts. We've got French doors leading out to the garden. And then it extends round and has that window that overlooks the front as well. So a really great size room. If I just stand back so you can see the scale of it. And at the heart of this second part, which is just up a step, we've got a lovely open fire with a nice sandstone fireplace there you've got um, nice exposed stone walls as well but just look at the lifestyle opportunity here sitting here looking out you just get a glimpse of the garden to the rear but it's truly stunning these grounds so then if we come across the hallway we come through into a kitchen which is a great size space. We've got a lovely beamed ceiling. We've got the potential here for you to put your own stamp on this space to create a wonderful open plan living, dining, kitchen space. Now, a new owner is going to need to have a look at things like the wiring um, and any other um, costs that might be attached because this has been lived in for a number of years and we just want to be completely honest that it is a renovation project for somebody. However, it's perfectly functional. Um, as you can see here, the kitchen's in good order it's just you may want to put your own stamp on the space in addition to the kitchen space we've got two storage cupboards one which is fitted with some shelving and the other which has got space for white goods so again a little bit of reconfiguration you could make the space a bit bigger and what is my favorite part of this house is through these sliding doors we've got an orange tree which is absolutely stunning. So a great place. It's like a greenhouse in their state. It's so beautiful and so warm, but you just feel the garden. And again, you're getting a little glimpse of that garden space. Perfect if you're wanting to grow some plants, you could have this as a sort of a greenhouse area, but we do have one of those as well to show you. But this is a fantastic space. Just needs a little bit of TLC. Then before we go upstairs, the last part to show you is the rear hallway where we've got a utility space by the back door there and we've got a shower room on the ground floor as well so it's really useful space 
So as we go upstairs, you'll see that the upstairs space doesn't disappoint either. The proportions are really good and you can put your own stamp on it. So we've got this wooden staircase leading up to a landing, which is filled with light through the clever use of these glass bricks at the top there. And we've got four bedrooms from this point here. This is bedroom number one, which is a great size double room and has lovely views looking out over the garden space and towards the orangery, but also has views through the secondary glazed window down to the side of the house. And you'll see the privacy of the garden when we get outside. In fact, before we do that, if we just look out of here, the Dalston showground where the famous Dalston show is, is just beyond the hedge line there. So you can see how centrally lo located we are within the village. So that's bedroom number one. This is bedroom number two, which is another great size room. We're looking out towards the front across the green here. So you've got a whole host of walks on the doorstep there. And as you've seen, as we've just gone towards the window when cars have been going past, you don't hear the traffic inside the house whatsoever. You've just got the benefit of a super plot in a great location. Bedroom number three is just in here now this is a partition wall so potentially you could maybe create um, a bigger bedroom by converting numbers two and three in together and then bedroom number four is a great size double room again looking out to the front so the majority of the rooms here look out towards the front then finally we have the family bathroom which is fitted with a bath we've got a shower on the wall there and you've got a hand basin and a loo and a storage cupboard which houses the gas boiler so a really great size property a ideal property if you want to put your own stamp on your home but looking at its location it's a fantastic place to be so the next part of the video i'm just going to go back outside i'm going to take you and show you some of the spaces because this is really quite unique in the sense that you've got lots of flexible options externally as well the first of which is the garage space which is a really good size room You've got storage space above, which you're going to see in a few minutes. And you've also got a um, carport area here as well, which has got this um, poly roof on there as well. So a great, great space here. And then we have one of two nice little surprises. So this is a little boffy, which has got a host of flexible uses. If you're looking to work from home, maybe um, you could have visitors coming in through the carport into this building and not affecting your family life whatsoever or if you're looking for maybe a teenage den or um, maybe to create a little boffy or um, something in Airbnb there's loads of options here but you'd need to speak to the relevant planning and um, consents so a great size room a little bit of storage under the stairs there and you've got a staircase which takes us up onto the upper level which is the upper level of the garage so it's a really good use of the space there. Ceiling height isn't particularly high. There's a little bit of an element here. So um, it may not pass building regs for um, some accommodation, but this space down here is absolutely perfect for working from home space. This space, maybe storage. There's loads of options. And then the rest of the gardens are absolutely beautiful. So we've got an area that I'm going to show you up here in a few minutes because that's my little surprise it's really beautiful but you've got a garden which is filled with all sorts of different things so we've got some box hedging we have some fruit trees we have a working well there we've got a number of lawn areas some topiary trees fantastic and beautiful apple tree there and then these terraces, this is the orangery. These French doors lead back into a lounge. And you can see here, you've got a huge amount of privacy from neighboring properties because you've got this great hedge line, which actually has a path running down the back to a number of little shed areas. So it does go beyond this fence line and a nice walled garden to the front that leads round to, to the front garden. It's a complete haven. You could be in the middle of the countryside here enjoying a garden of this size. It's huge. Um, it's got so much sort of potential as a family home and also has so much more to offer you. So if you're a keen gardener beyond the yew tree here, if we go through the arch, you've got some more fruit trees. Some beautiful red apple trees there and then if we just keep on going we'll come round to an area where we've got some raised beds so if you wanted to have a kitchen garden you've got the options to do that as well you've got so many 
so many things to offer you. There's just one last surprise to show you, which I'm going to take you in now. So the final part to show you is this little hidden gem right at the back of the garden. So you would not know this exists if you don't know this property. It's a superb studio, a arts and crafts room, maybe a working from home space. There's so much um, that you could do with this, or you could just use it as a beautiful potting shed, which it has the benefit of a gorgeous garden. So let's go inside and have a look. So you can see here, we've got some exposed stone walls, you've got a great uh, workspace here you've got a water supply but through to the back of this building um, the current owners have used this as a pottery studio so you've got the benefit of a kiln in the corner there and um, it, all the workings there the shelving and things from the pottery studio there's also a staircase which leads up to a mezzanine level where there's further space above and light coming in through the windows here so this is a little hidden gem this space is probably my favorite within the whole house other than the orangery but I love Love the fact that in this home you've got a lot of glass you've got the gardens um really making you feel like you're living inside out it really is a super opportunity and it does not feel like you're close to the village it feels like you're in the middle of nowhere with the benefit of some beautiful gardens. So if you'd like more information on this wonderful home, please do give us a call on 01768 881111 and we'd be happy to give you some more information.